I've been coaching now for 17 years. So over at San Bernardino Valley College, uh, on the junior college level, uh, we won uh, four championships. Doing a lot of coaching down in summer camps here. When I coach young men, I not only coach football, but I try to coach life also, because I always tell them, I want you to get 24, 25 years old. I want you to walk up to me, shake my hand, and say, Coach, I appreciate it. I'm an upright citizen in the society. I want to know that I made a difference in their life. What happened was um, uh, we were actually uh, celebrating that it was a possibility I was going to be uh, going back to the Raiders and maybe trying out for the Raiders again. My friend, I told him, I was riding with him. I said, look, I'll meet you at the car. I'm going to walk the ladies to the car, and I'll meet you there. And as I'm walking to the car, I see an altercation going where he was surrounded by six guys. So I'm, I'm watching this. We're on Wilshire Boulevard in Beverly Hills. I jump in the middle of the incident. And when I jump in the middle of the incident, one of the young men tell the other guy to hand me a gun. So I just automatically pick my buddy up from underneath his arms, turn my back to the gun, and the guy proceeded to shoot. And he ended up shooting me six times in the back. And I was able to throw my friend out of the way and he was able to get away. I haven't been able to coach for the last three years um, due to a pressure ulcer wound on my butt axe. The main reason for the pressure wound is the way I get in and out of my truck. It ended up hospitalizing me. I uh, ended up getting infected. I got a little Mercer from it and um, ended up being bedridden for eight weeks. I did have a flap surgery, a sensor surgery. The doctor, he wants me to be extremely careful now with sliding in and out of cars. So I do miss coaching. I miss it a lot. And I do a lot of volunteer services here at the hospital. I like going into the rooms and doing peer support because to be able to talk to someone else that's um, physically challenged, they know that you're going through the same thing that they're going through. That would be my passion to get back out there and motivate others. This mini van will get me back because I can drive straight into the van in my wheelchair and pull straight up to the driver's seat. I believe I was left here on this earth to help young men out. I was almost getting phone calls when you're coming back out there. I just want to thank everyone for voting for me because this minivan is going to help me to get out there and continue to make a difference in other people's lives.